Adam from Harvest Spirits at, uh, at Golden Harvest Farms. And what you see behind me is a still. It's powered by electricity. And what it's designed to do is boil hard cider and distill, make vodka through a process that takes a lot of energy. This is our electrical panel. It allows us to control the electricity and the heat in that stainless steel jacket to a tenth of the degree Celsius. These are digital temperature gauges across the distillery. These are digital alarms that let me know when something's about to happen. But as you can see behind me, the amazing amount of energy coming in through there and going out through the black cables, heating this. It's got hard cider inside the copper and it's got hot water inside the steel jacket. The hot water is heated by electricity. Right here, you see four heating elements. They've got really thick wires. It's three-phase, 300 amp service, and it gets really hot. Not only are we heating this amount of liquid in here, we're also forcing a lot of it back down in the form of condensation, cooling water, basically dripping down back into the pot. So we're continuously heating this process until the batch is done. The reason we use water to heat the mash inside of the pot is because we want to bring it up to a temperature and hold it at that temperature. It's like making, it's like cooking chocolate. Uh, once you add a very subtle heat in the form of indirect water heat, it can, can sit, maintain a much more stable and even temperature across the stuff in the liquid. So this thing is full of water. Here's our water level right here. It's going up and down because it's nearly at boiling temperature. Right now the water is heated with steam, with electricity, but what we're going to do in the future is heat the, the mash inside through steam or water heated out there near our compressors through a heat exchanger. Behind me are the compressors that keep our apples cold all year long. The compressors are compressing ammonia, just like your refrigerator compresses Freon. This system works on ammonia. One of the consequences of compressing this is that it gives off a lot of heat. This is the giant condenser that we have to spend electricity to cool the excess heat coming off those compressors. And what we're going to do is take that heat and capture it through a heat exchanger and power the distillery with the excess heat that we're otherwise throwing away. And we won't need to do that anymore with the distillery firing. One of the byproducts from distilling is methanol. Now methanol is similar to ethanol, but you don't want to drink it. It's just as flammable, and it can be made from, used to make biodiesel. Uh, methanol helps break down the bonds in vegetable grease that can be passed through with biodiesel. So when I'm ready to uh, give this stuff away to my local biodiesel maker, I'll just use this pump here, fill up my, my jugs here, and then they'll take it into their backyard and make biodiesel from it. Up until this point, methanol, we've just been burning it uh, because we had no way to get rid of it. What we're looking though, we're, what we're looking for is some biodiesel makers to legally take it from us and to make some biodiesel out of it. I'll just show you how well it burns. It's very clean. It's not explosive. It's so nice, There's no smoke at all. I'd like to grill with this stuff. I mean, honestly, I think this would do some really tasty meat because there's no residue like there is with, with, uh, 